Uh, verse 7. Verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. Again, Noah out there being ridiculed, talked about like a dog, in the middle of the desert, building an ark when it ain't never rained before. These people don't even know what this is. But by faith, Noah is being obedient to build this thing. Go ahead. He prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. Which is by what? Which is by faith. Again, his faith led him to be obedient. Even though, again, everybody was laughing at him, doing all things. If you read about it in Jasher, even until the rain was still coming, they were still talking junk. Read. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob. Now, now Abraham went out not even knowing where he going. But by faith, by obedience, he did it anyway. Just get up and go. Read. Verse 10. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High. Read on. Through faith also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Who had promised. Read on. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. Jump to verse 24. Verse 24. By faith, Moses, when he had come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Now it's easy for Moses to stay there and live this luxurious life in the palace and be rich. <laughs> but by faith, Moses said, you know what? I'd rather be righteous with my brothers than to be in this wicked household with these wicked people. Read on. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High. With the people of the Most High. Read on. Then to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. <laughs> See, you get a, an eternity of righteousness or a season of wickedness to fulfill your flesh. Sound like an easy choice, but we know most people will follow the, the, the other one. Fact, so we see what faith is. Faith calls for obedience. If you've got the faith, you'll be obedient to what the Most High tell you to do. Even in the most trying times where you might not have a penny, it may seem hopeless, but you will stay steadfast with the Most High. Exactly. Now, let's go to the commandments right quick. Go to go to um go to Exodus twenty. This is again faith and obedience, worship. They all go hand in hand. They line right up with each other. So we're going to see something. Start at, uh, start at verse 2. Verse 2. I am Yahuwah your power, which have brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Read on. You shall have no other Elohim before me. You shall have no other Elohim before me. Read on. You shall not make unto you any graven image. Any graven image. We know. Keep that in mind. No graven image or image, period. Read on. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Read. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. Do what? You shall not bow down to them or serve them. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. This is a direct command that we as his people are not supposed to do. 
Finish that out. Excuse me. For I, Yahuwah, thy power and the jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Keep the commandments. And notice he said to thousands of them when it's billions of people. Sound like a remnant. <laughs> exactly. Again, it's billions of people and he only said thousands now, we're going to show you that your faith is going to be greatly tested through your obedience. And history shows us this. Let's go to Daniel. Let's go to Daniel 3. Start at 1. Verse 1. The book of Daniel, chapter 3 and verse 1. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold. Made an image right here. This is out of line, off the top. He made an image. Mosai said, don't make no images. Read on. Whose height was three score cubits. But Nebuchadnezzar was wicked anyway, so we know he'll do it anyway. Read. And the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura, in the province of Babylon. The Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent to gather together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors. Now, we're going to break this down in today's terms. Then Obama gathered together the politicians. Obama, I mean, Jay-Z, Oprah, uh, who's some more, who's some more, some more other people? <laughs> the big people. All your, your, your political, your religious leaders, and your entertainment leaders. All Le of them brought forth. LeBron and Kobe. All of these people he brought forth. <laughs> Finish it. Are you was at the sheriffs? The sheriffs and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, captains, judges, treasurers, counselors, sheriffs, and all rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Read. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then in herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations and languages. Sound like the United Nations, right? <laughs> Exactly. That at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you shall fall down and worship the golden image. Do what? You shall fall down and worship the golden image. This is against the commandment. He said, don't make no image and don't bow down to these things. Somebody's trying to make you be disobedient. Read that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up, and whoso whoso falls not down and worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. So if you don't bow down to this thing, you will be cast into the fiery furnace. Now think about how hard that's got to be. Now you got to really have some faith to be able to. To get through this part. That other stuff we was reading with Saul and them. And the man of the most high. That was simple stuff. They said the past that was flying colors. Mm -hmm. But this right here. On the other hand. A little bit more difficult. A lot of people say. Well I know I'll do it. Don't speak too fast. Consider the story with Peter. Don't say it too fast. Read on. Verse 7. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, the flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Now, we're going to jump ahead just to show you some of our people wasn't going for it. They were being what? 
they were being obedient. The Most High told us directly not to bow down, not to worship, not to put anybody else, and not to have an image. That's the commandments. Jump to verse, um, verse 11. Verse 11. And whoso falls not down and worships, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. There are certain Israelites. There are certain who? There are certain Israelites. Read. Whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded you. They have served not your powers, nor worshipped the golden image which you have set up. So they keeping what the Most High said. I'm not doing that. The Most High told us not to bow down, not to have an image, not to do any of these things. They doing it. That's what I'm talking about. Read. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not you serve my, my gods? nor worship the golden image which I have set up. You mean to tell me I'm the great Nebuchadnezzar and you don't do what I tell you to do? You don't worship the image I put up? What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> Read. Now, if you be ready that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, fall down and worship the image which I have made. So we're going to show you that they didn't do it. They were obedient. Through their faith, these three boys was obedient. Jump down to verse 19. Verse 19. Y'all can read back the whole story on your own. Read. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of rage, full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace. One seven times more than it was known to be heated. Woo! Turn it all the way up. We gonna burn these boys to a crisp. Cause they they disobeying obeying the great Nebuchadnezzar. And these niggas crazy. <laughs> I'm Nebuchadnezzar. Y'all disobeying me? What read? And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army. To bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These the WWF dudes, right? Cena. WWE. John Cena. <laughs> Big Show. Get in here. Exactly. Read. <laughs> 21. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. So put them in there with their stuff on. This will catch them on. This will blaze them up. Even faster. <laughs> he kept us wicked. Super wicked. Read. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So these dudes ain't even in there and got burned up. They should have known something right there. They got burned up, but the Meshach... And I've been there going them and get burned up. They should have known something right then. Right. Read. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Read on. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste he and spake. in haste? Wait a minute. Read. And said unto his counselors, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Wait a minute. We put three dudes in there. We put three of them, them Israelites in there. Read. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. True. That's true. That's true, master. Read. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the son of the Most High. So through obedience, the Most High sent somebody in there to save them. Through obedience, they was thrown in the fiery furnace in the face of super affliction, and they beat it. They beat it. 
the Most High delivered them 